We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. Hey there, guys. How are you? Let me flip out. Ugh. Let me flip out the screen and mute this. Just catching up on my uh, Infinity War before I go to see Endgame tonight. Oh God, I need this movie to be good. Please, just be good. This is the only thing I have left in life that is sacred. Please give me what I need. Then I can snap my fingers, and half of you disappear. <laughs> so yeah, today's Endgame day, and I'm I'm super pumped. I if you guys are seeing the movie today, like I am, I know you're pumped. Both nips are hard. The movie starts mm, in like. 30 minutes. I'm waiting on Amber to come over then I'm gonna fly 90 miles per hour to the movie theater down the road. I bought tickets weeks ago and the day I bought tickets, the earliest showing I could possibly get was an 11.20 showing at night. And I bought tickets like within an hour of them going on sale on Fandango. So, and then they had some assholes on eBay scalping tickets for like $300 at some movie theaters. It's just, it's, uh, I hate things like that. I hate that. Ugh. Anyway, a few quick updates. Um, I did move to Huntsville, Alabama. I did mention that in the newest Q&A video over on the Flickpick channel. Check out that video. It's a good video. Um, I moved here because of my lady friend. Let me get some snacks together. Some Sour Patch Kids. And I'll buy popcorn at the movie theater. Uh, so yeah, I moved here for her. I live in Huntsville, Alabama. It's uh, it's a pretty good town. It's, it's better than you think. Uh, you know, when you think of Alabama, you're like, yeah. But I actually surprisingly like it. It's a very convenient town. Um, you know, there's a Best Buy, a movie theater, a Walmart within like a mile of, of my new my new place. So, and I'm still getting it together. It's a little plain. The couch actually, I had a sectional couch that doesn't fit. So the other part of it's over in that room. I bought a new couch. I got to sell that one. I got my Street Fighter arcade machine. Um, so yeah, and I got to hang up, you know, some posters and shit on the wall so it doesn't look like a... An insane asylum. So with that said, Amber just texted me, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the car. Let's go. Hey there, guys. I'm driving 90 miles per hour at 35, trying to make it to Avengers now. Endgame. Okay. Yeah. Amber will be my uh, human uh, map quest. Is that what yes. You? Map quest? Do people use that? Okay. And the movie starts in oh. five minutes. I almost just killed someone. Um, I'm excited. I can't wait. My whole life has revolved around this movie, even though it starts in seven minutes. Time is not what I'm good at. I don't know how to plan or pace for time. But I do have a shit ton of Sour Patch Kids in my pockets. I feel like time is in slow motion right now. I can't function. So, are you excited to see Endgame, I'm Amber? I'm so excited. Are you pumped? I'm pumped. Now, I just spent the last 97 hours watching every MCU movie. That's a lie. I did watch Infinity War, and that's about it. But that's all you need. That's all you need. Who wants to go back and watch Iron Man 2? Not this guy, or Thor 2? Ugh. Ugh, dark elves and shit? No thank you. So I'm pumped for this movie. We have an 11 o'clock showing. It's the earliest showing I could find because everyone bought out tickets and then sold some of them on eBay for like $300. And uh, give, me that, give me the spot. Give me the spot. Oh yeah, baby. Come on, oh, I'm letting you go. I'm, come on, it's okay, little one. Come on, push, push. Very good. Push. Push. Very oh, good. God. Are you going to get popcorn, Amber? Yes. Yeah, I need a large, extra large diet soda for this three hour movie. My only fear is it's going to be all human in there from all the mouth breathers, the humidity levels. That's my fear. That's my biggest fear with this movie. And as we're walking through the lobby to go see it, I know someone's going to be walking out, a group of guys. Oh, yeah, he died and he died. So annoying. And then I just scream until I black out, and then I wake up four hours later. What do you have to say to <laughs> this? has been my only only motivation in life for like the last four months. This is it. This is it. If this movie isn't good, I just I go to the top of that parking garage over there and I jump off. So I will see you guys after the movie. Hopefully it's good. And bye bye. Okay, it's like three o'clock in the morning. Did you like the movie? It was freaking awesome. It was it was really, really good. Um, gosh, I don't know if I wanna do spoilers right now. This is sort of just like a lazy, sloppy reaction vlog video. Um, if you want my reaction, here it is. It's good, <laughs> I like it. Amber, you talk, I, I'm still thinking. I'm, I'm discombobulated right now. It, this, it was just magical. It was really magical. It It is the movie I wanted to see since the first Avengers movie. It does give you what you want. 
And now for spoilers, three, two, one. Uh, Captain America gets really old and Iron Man dies. Those are the biggest spoilers of the movie. Just a lot of sweet moments, my God. Yeah, yeah, it, it was good. I um, I was disappointed, Just uh, there was a few things I was disappointed by. Uh, Hulk, I've been waiting for like years for Hulk to have like a, a Hulk out berserker rage mode. And after the last movie where he got bitched out by Thanos, I thought that was going to come around this movie. But Hulk yeah. sort of just is very subdued. He found his happy place. He kind of becomes a hipster Hulk and takes selfies with little kids at diners. Yeah, I kind of thought when the yeah. death of what's her name happened that he would. Yeah, I wanted him to like just rage out and kick some ass, and like punch Thanos in the face, Thanos in the face a few times at the end of the movie. Never happens, but. Or bring her back, or actually end up bringing her back. Who? Uh, uh, the girl. Uh, Black Widow? Yes. Yeah, someone had, you know, people had, oh yeah, she dies too. <laughs> so people had to die, you know, there's, we don't need her anymore. Minimal cows, as long as yeah. Spider-Man's okay. Spider-Man's fine, uh, the, but you know my biggest complaint with this movie, Amber, as we're walking around, uh, the guy next to me had, the, <laughs> had, had a really bad case of gingivitis, <laughs> and every time the movie got good, I knew what was going to happen, I knew he'd open his mouth, and I had the whole movie, I'm like this. I'm like this, his oh, breath. Oh yeah, 100%. Just... His breath was that bad. Like I can, I, <clears throat> it ruined my appetite. I didn't want to eat any more of my Sour Patch Kids. Um, anything else you want to say about the movie? My arm's getting tired. It was just amazing. It was so worth going at 11.20, going to bed at yeah. two, waking up at seven, it's worth it. Yeah, and yeah, so. I'm hyped though, I'm hyped. It was three hours, but it went by so quick. It did, I wanna watch it again. Do you? Yes. I wanna see it in IMAX. Okay, like this week. Without a guy beside me. I want, With Halitosis. Yeah, someone that brushes their teeth like within the last six months, hopefully they sit beside me. I knew going into this movie, I knew, I just knew, one little thing had to ruin it. And I- It didn't ruin it. It didn't ruin it, but it, it I had to, sacrifices had to be made, okay? Absolutely, I totally agree. Yeah. With all with all of their shortcomings and all their failures, it led back to me. That's a line in the movie. Oh, oh, I missed that. That's what Thanos says. Oh, does he? That, oh yeah, he did do that. The last hour is really phenomenal. It's 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 what you want from an epic comic book movie. Yeah. So I'm still, my melon is slightly blown. It it's the movie I wanted to see. I I don't know how you could go into this movie, and watch it and be disappointed. I really don't. And if you are, well, you just don't understand what makes a good movie. So I'm sorry for that, but that's your fault. Uh, so anyway, guys, I think I'm gonna finish this video somewhere else because I'm a little bit hungry. I want some French toast, so I'll see you there. <laughs> okay, guys, it's three o'clock in the morning. I have some French toast and bacon. Um, come a little closer, Amber. I'm scared. Um, I don't know if they're picking up. What is this, Mariah Carey? Probably. Okay. Um, I don't know how to review this movie. I don't know how to review it. I'm still thinking and, and contemplating what to say. I feel empty, to be honest. <sighs> okay, um, I'm actually using an energy drink as a tripod right now. Actually, I'm gonna continue using it as a tripod. Uh, whoa, I'm still thinking about this movie. Um, it's four o'clock in the morning, and um, I have this routine. Typically, when I go to see a movie at the theater, especially later at night, I tell myself I'm not going to review this movie when I get home because if I do that, then the movie feels like it becomes an obligation rather than a theater experience or escapism like I want it to be. So I'm going to sleep on this movie because I feel like I need to. The movie deserves that. Um, I hate rushing home and uploading a video for views. You know, I don't, who cares, right? So I'm gonna think about what I really wanna say before I review this movie, but uh, it, it's not the movie I wanted, but it is the movie I needed. And we could sit here and talk about plot holes and timelines and time travel and blah, 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 and then my head explodes. But you know what? When you watch the movie, it answers enough questions to where you can just enjoy the movie. And that's how I felt. Um, I really enjoyed this movie. And the more I think about it, the more I enjoy it. I need to go back and revisit the movie. I want to go see it in IMAX and preferably beside a guy that doesn't have the worst case of gingivitis I've ever... Uh, thinking about it makes me want to gag. Like, those pancakes I just ate, the French toast, I, I'm going to vomit those up if I think about the guy that was beside me. The whole movie, I was like this. The whole movie. And every time something amazing happened, he opened his mouth, I was dreading it. I was like, oh no, no! So, uh, yeah, that was the biggest downfall of this 
of this theater experience. I just knew. I knew going into this highly anticipated movie, something something in the audience was going to not... Like, there was going to be a crank, crying baby, uh, some teenage girls who were texting the entire time, or there was going to be a guy with the worst case of gingivitis ever. Uh, so, yeah, and that's what I got. So, um, I, I would have rather had the crying baby. Maybe. Maybe not. Ah, uh, this movie. Ah. Uh. That's a movie. That's a movie. I want to go back and revisit it. And does it feel like it's three hours? Not really. Not really. You know, the, it's very balanced, as, as Thanos would say, like this pen. Hang on. You get the point. But either way, share your thoughts about the movie down below, negative or positive. Let me know what you thought about the movie. Um, sacrifices were made, and I was happy with the sacrifices that they made. They felt right. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, I'm going to drink this energy drink that's being used as the tripod. And speaking of energy drinks, I have a video talking about energy drinks coming up very soon. So look at that. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.